Last week on the show, we talked about pre-emerged corn herbicides, the straight products, things like Harness, Surpass, Outlook Dual. Today, we wanted to talk about some combination products, including Lumax, Sure Start, the new Integrity, Harness Extra, Keystone. So let's get into all that. Well, you know what? It's kind of interesting. We talk about all these combinations, and, and during the winter months, a lot of times you may get a cold of some sort, and you go to buy something at the drugstore, and they've got all these combination products. It's like, wait a minute, do I have stuffy head, fever, <laughs> runny nose? No, I've got two of the three. I don't, I don't really need that combo. And that's what I think about when I think about this herbicide market too. Do I really need all those components of the combination products? Or could I get by with just some straight goods offerings? So that's why I wanted to talk about what's in these combinations and where they really fit on your farm. Well, we do a series of winter workshops for farmers all across the country every winter. And one of the things that people really like when they come to our meetings is we put together a sheet for them, actually several sheets on what all the products are and what all the combinations are and the rates, because it's hard to keep track of. It's hard for even me to keep track of. And I work with this stuff every day. Well, here's the great thing, <laughs> the marketing people People can continue to come up with more new names oh. by just adding one other little thing and say, hey, we've got 10 products here. We could turn that into 100 if we just start combining lots here's, of different things. Here's what I hate, though. Uh, honestly, they're trying to trick you and me in some cases. In other cases, they're just trying to sell you two products instead of just one so they make a little more money. But the point is, and I always tell them this, all these big companies, just give us the straight products. Let us mix stuff up ourselves so we know what we're getting and so we can put it in at the appropriate rates. So for example, Harness and Atrazine. I love both products. They, they work great. We use both of them on our farm. Problem is, I don't like them together. <laughs> well, well, you get a product like Harness Extra and all of a sudden you get a whole bunch of Atrazine in there and not enough Harness or, well, or the other way around. But yep. the problem is you have to use that product pre or very early post and it's really not the right time to be using atrazine. Right, we like to use atrazine post emerge. The reason why is we have a lot less chance of getting atrazine in the groundwater. As we've talked about many times in the show, atrazine leaches very easily. We don't want to use atrazine pre emerge. We want to use it post emerge when the atrazine can be absorbed by plants, it can be absorbed by weeds, it can be absorbed by roots. There's a lot more sunlight, there's a lot more heat. The odds of atrazine getting down into the groundwater when you spray in June as compared to when you spray it in April are just so dramatically different. We we just absolutely do not advise that you use any atrazine herbicide pre-emerge any combination. So that would include things like Harness Extra, Keystone, Lumax, G-Max Lite. There are a whole bunch of them that have atrazine. We won't use them on our farm. We're just not going to do it. I don't really care if you've got something that works very good. If it's not the right thing for the environment, why do it? We've got plenty of other choices out there. Plus, with a lot of our post-emerge choices, like say a Status or a Laudus or a Callisto or, or whatever you want to use post-emerge, they all work better, it seems, with a little bit of atrazine yep. in there. So why not save that atrazine and use it later in the year? Okay, let's let's start talking about some of the non-atrazine alternatives right. that you could put pre-emerge. Yep, Sure Start has probably gotten the most press and there are a lot of people actually using Sure Start now. What Sure Start is, it's a combination of Surpass, which Surpass and Harness are basically about the same thing, and Hornet. And Hornet is also a combination product. That's Python and Stinger. So you got Surpass, Python, Stinger, and Sure Start. Well, Hornet actually came out as a pre-emerge herbicide when it was first released. You use it at a little bit higher rate than what you would use post-emerge, actually double the rate of what you'd use post-emerge. But what they found is, you know what? It's not perfect wiping out broadleaves. There's still some it's large use seeded post-emerge. There's still yeah. some large seeded broadleaves that are going to come through. However, it did work very well on a lot of the small seeded broadleaves using it pre-emerge. So by combining it with Surpass, you can get your grass and a lot of those small seeded broadleaves out of the way. So when you come back with maybe Roundup in crop, you don't have very many broadleaves to control. Well, I think it's Roundup resistant weeds that have led to a lot of people wanting to use some of these combination products. Because last week when we talked about Harness Surpass Outlook Dual, we told you all those are great on grass, but you know, they're somewhat marginal on broadleaves. So if we can put a great grass product together with a great broadleaf product and we follow up with $4 an acre Roundup, we got a great program all together. So that's why a lot of guys are interested in Sure Start or the new Integrity, for example. Well, Integrity is a combination of Outlook plus Sharpen. Now, Sharpen is actually Kixor, and this, this thing confuses me too. There's, yeah. there's a marketing umbrella here. The Kixor products include a bunch of different combinations of the actual Kixor, which they're now calling Sharpen. So if you hear <laughs> Sharpen, think Kixor, then a lot of the combination products here like Integrity for Corn is Outlook 
plus sharp. Yeah, so you're familiar with Outlook already because that's very similar to Harness, Surpass, and Dual. But this Kicksaw, that's going to be pretty similar to Balance or Valor. The advantage to the Kicksaw is it's got a lot better burn down, a lot activity, very, very quick burn down. So if you're in a no-till situation, having a little of that Kicksaw or Sharpen in there, that is a big advantage. I'll give you a little more confusion, Brian. Here's three more products and they all start with C. Corvus, Caprino, and K-Mix. Yep, it does get confusing. And you know, we, we, there are some other products too that we haven't mentioned today. There are a lot of combination products. Again, just about every company out there is trying to come up with all these combinations, the right thing that'll fit in this market segment, that market segment. Just don't get confused by all these things. The important thing is that you get good weed control for a good value on your farm. Well, you may be asking, do any of these herbicides actually control the weed of the week? We'll show you coming up later in the show.